everyone, I'm starting the week again on a Wednesday. So on a Wednesday, as I've mentioned before, I go to a Pilates class and then I went straight from there to get my hair done. But a bit later on after the school run, I decided to get changed into one of my favourite loungewear sets. This is a Mind the Maker cashmere fleece backed um, jersey and it's really nice and cosy to wear and it felt appropriate because we've been having lots of rain in the evenings and afternoons and also some thunder as well so I felt very cosy in this set. Morning everyone, so it's Thursday now and um, today I'm wearing a pearl cardigan by Tilly and the Buttons. I made this one a little while ago now, it's from a really nice drapey viscose knit I think from So Me Sunshine. So if you've not seen the pearl cardigan it's a really pretty wrap style cardigan, you can make it with short sleeves, straight sleeves or a balloon sleeve. So my version has the balloon sleeve at the bottom here and I think that works really well with this nice drapey fabric. So a couple of changes that I made to this um, version of the pearl was to just lengthen it by an inch and I've also lengthened the sleeves as well because I did find that the balloon sleeves in my billy jumper came up quite short and I do like them a little bit longer so that they can kind of hang over like this if you see what I mean. <laughs> So I just made those couple of changes. So I really like wearing this pearl cardigan now actually. It was one that I wasn't sure of at first and it hasn't had as much wear as some of the other things in my wardrobe, but I think I'm gonna really enjoy wearing this this spring and summer. And then I've just got it on with my Bowden jeans again and a little vest underneath. And it feels like a really nice comfy outfit actually. I'm really enjoying how Me Made May is making me think about what I'm gonna wear and um, take a bit more care, sort of getting dressed in the morning and thinking about what Me Maids I can wear. It's a really good trial of new outfits actually. So yeah, I'm really enjoying just sort of getting out things that I wouldn't normally reach for, this cardigan being one of them, and just seeing how I feel in them and realizing that actually I do quite like them. So I'm back in the dining room again today because I'm going to do some sewing today. I have my Minerva project to make today, which is going to be from this lovely bamboo toweling fabric here. And I'm also hoping to sew up my Evelyn skirt by Chalk and Notch. I'm not sure if I'll get both projects done today, but I'm going to have a nice sewing day and just see how far I get. It's actually sunny today, which is really nice. And it's inspiring me to get on with things a little bit more. It's Friday today and um, I'm back here in my dining room <laughs> to share with you what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing a Jarrah sweatshirt by Megan Nielsen. So you probably have seen this pattern before. I did share a Jarrah sweatshirt last week. Last week's was a lengthened Jarrah. Today I'm just wearing a normal length Jarrah. This is quite an old one actually and you've probably seen it before if you do watch my videos. It's made from a really nice um, Atelier Brunette fleece back sweatshirt fabric. It's such a lovely fabric, but it is quite nice and light, so it's a good one for springtime. So I have this in two colorways. I have it in the navy version that I'm wearing today, and I also have it in the cream version that they did as well. But I by far wear this one the most. I think I just like the navy color. So yeah, really um, sort of easy outfit today. I'm just wearing it with a pair of black jeans. Um, on a Friday, I just try and do catch up stuff. So I had a little bit of work to do this morning. And then later on today, I just need to do a little bit of cleaning and shopping and those kind of things ready for the weekend. Um, so it feels like an appropriate outfit. Um, excitingly, this weekend, me and my husband are actually going away for one night. We're going to Oxford. It's a kind of belated anniversary present, so I just need to do a little bit of packing for that later, which will be exciting. And surprise, surprise, we're actually supposed to get a little bit of sunshine this weekend. So fingers crossed we will, because all this week has been just black and it has been sunny here and there, but we've had some torrential rainstorms in the evening. Like when I say torrential, it's not really, but for us in England, it's been pretty heavy. And there's also been some thunder as well. So it's just been weird, really weird weather. I'm sure normally about this time in May, we're having some sort of more warmer, sunny weather, but it just hasn't happened so far this year. 
So I need to have a little bit of a think about what I'm gonna take away with us. I don't really need too much obviously because it's just for one night, but I think we are gonna go out for dinner in the evening and stuff like that. So it would be nice to dress up a little bit and wear some of my knee maids. And I also really want to take my Jack Trench coat because I haven't worn that out yet. And the reason for that is because we live in England and there are just so much rain around at the moment and it doesn't have a hood or anything and it's obviously not waterproof. So I always feel as though I'm gonna get a bit caught short if I wear it, but hopefully this weekend, if there isn't any rain, it might finally get its first out in. <laughs> So it's Monday now, we had a really nice weekend away. Um, so we went to Oxford just for one night, um, but it was really nice to sort of just explore and um, look around and go out for dinner and stuff. Um, so unfortunately the weather wasn't great again. I did think it was gonna be really nice and sunny and warm on Saturday, but it wasn't, it was really chilly. <laughs> so um, on Saturday I wore my um, jeans, just a pair of jeans and my Agnes t-shirt and my Lily Silk cashmere cardigan. And then over that I wore my Jack Trench because I was determined that I was going to wear that. But to be honest, I was really quite chilly and I could have done it with a scarf. So the Jack Trench coat, it does tie up at your waist, but it doesn't have any other fastenings. So it's quite open around your neck. And um, I was just wearing like a v-neck cardigan and my low Agnes t-shirt underneath. And I was quite sort of exposed around here. <laughs> and yeah, I was quite chilly by the end of the day, which is such a shame. We're just not getting any warm weather at the moment. So it's really hard to dress for spring and you want to wear all these nice things and wear all your handmade clothes but it's really difficult when it is so cold so I really hope that the weather warms up soon. Um, anyway in the evening on Saturday we went out for dinner and um, again didn't really know what to wear because it was so cold <laughs> so I took a little choice of things. I did have my Anthea jumpsuit to wear and I also bought my Tildy shirt dress um, and in the end I decided to wear my Tildy shirt dress because I could wear that with a pair of like pumps so that I didn't have my feet out because <laughs> it was so cold. So I didn't want to wear sandals. So I wore my Tildy shirt dress with a pair of trainers and um, my Jack trench coat again over the top. And I really wanted to test out this Tildy shirt dress again actually because I've mentioned before that I'm not sure about the fit of it. So this time I wore it on Saturday, it did feel a little bit better actually and I didn't feel as though I was sort of putting it around at the top so much. And I don't know if that was just how I was sitting or what really, but it did feel a little bit better. I do think I maybe need to broaden the shoulders on the dress because it does feel quite tight around here. So yeah, I still think I need to do a little bit of work on that one. So that was Saturday and then on Sunday, I wore my Ogden Cami, my new navy one in a Tilly brunette fabric with yet another Logan jacket, my denim look one, and a pair of coated leggings. So I wore that with a pair of trainers and um, a shirt over the top of my Ogden cami, and that was a really nice, comfortable outfit. And it actually was a bit warmer on Sunday. It was really nice and sunny. So yeah, that was just a nice outfit to wear. So we're back at Monday now, and today I'm wearing another pearl cardigan, and I don't think I've actually showed this pearl cardigan before. So this is something that I made from Minerva quite recently, but it's made from a viscose knit. So it's a jersey fabric, but it's a knit fabric and it's one of the Minerva exclusive range of um, jersey knits. So I'll link the fabric down below. I can't remember exactly what they call this type of fabric, but it's like a knitted sort of jersey, if you know what I mean. And it works really nicely for the pearl cardigan because it's got a nice structure to it and it was really easy to sew. 
but it's actually got quite a nice drape to it as well. So I will put a picture in so that you can see what it looks like on. So I've done the balloon sleeve at the bottom of the cardigan again um, and gone for the long sleeve and I just made my same alterations as I did for my pink one. I lengthened it by an inch and I also lengthened the sleeves as well. So today I'm just going out and about and doing a little bit of errands and things like that. So yeah, this feels like a nice outfit to wear. Morning everyone, so it's Tuesday today and that brings me to the last day of my second week of Me Made May. Um, so here I am in my dining room but I'm facing the other way today because I'm just about to film another video. Tuesdays and Thursdays are generally the days that I do film my videos. Today I'm wearing another toaster sweater. So I did talk about the toaster sweater last week. I wore my brown version. So this is a version two of the toaster sweater by So House 7. And I think this is one of my favorite makes actually. It wasn't when I first made it, which is strange, but this year I have really got a lot of wear out of it. So yeah, I really like version two of the toaster sweater. I have two versions so far and I just find it really nice to wear. Um, I like the neckline because it's not too high and I find it quite relaxed. So the version that I'm wearing today is actually sewn from a stripy French terry fabric which I got from Sew Me Sunshine and this is such a lovely fabric and today I'm wearing it with a pair of three quarter length wide leg jeans and I got these from Next a couple of years ago. They're actually from the Sienna Miller range on Next so that's my outfit for today. Um, and then yesterday I did rush my clip a little bit I felt but I forgot to show you my new mug that I bought while I was away in Oxford. So here it is, you would have seen me just making a cup of tea in it earlier, but I thought I would share this because um, I absolutely love going to anthropology. And if we're ever anywhere city-like, they have an anthropology, I always like to go in there. I just love that shop. It has clothing, but it also has homeware and sort of quirky bits and pieces as well. So, I didn't buy any clothing this time, I did just buy this mug. I always look at their mugs and so far I haven't really bought anything from there. I just like to look and be inspired. Um, but this time I decided to treat myself and I bought this one. And I thought it kind of went with my colour scheme. So there's like a rusty brown in there and a pink and a teal. Um, it's kind of pastel-y and then the inside is green as well. So. Yeah, I really love that. But I also took a couple of photos of dresses and outfits and things that I saw in anthropology that I found really inspiring to me and I'd like to use as inspiration for my summer wardrobe. So I'll put in a couple of images now of things that I found. So I found this lovely shirt maxi dress. Um, this was just so lovely. It reminded me of a Lyra dress actually. It was exactly that style but it had um, a kind of hidden button band down the front and it had lace over the button band. And then the fabrics in the dress were just sort of really sort of botanical and hippie and yeah, really nice. All of the clothing in there is way too long for me. <laughs> so I think if I had bought that dress, I definitely would have needed to alter it in some way. It was very expensive as well. So not one that I would just sort of buy um, willy nilly, but if you were going anywhere fancy, then it was a really lovely dress. And it did give me inspiration for making another Lyra dress in the future. And then I also found this lovely shirt. Um, and this one was quite cropped. This is one of those styles that I keep seeing everywhere at the moment. So you've got the sort of contrasting stripes. Um, so part of the shirt is made in a stripe going in one direction or a different kind of stripe. And then other parts of the shirt are made in like um, a different fabric or a different stripe. And sometimes they're even in a different color as well. And I've seen a lot of these kind of shirts around and thought, oh yeah, they look quite nice. And I hadn't really thought about making one myself, but yeah, I was really inspired by this one. And I really have come away thinking I'd like to make one for myself for spring and summer. And then the last thing I saw that I really liked and thought I would take a picture of is this 
dress and shirt combination. So another thing I'd quite like to make for summer actually, the really long vest or t-shirt style jersey dress that I could just wear with like a shirt over the top or a Logan jacket or something, like this one has been styled here. So yeah, I was getting all the inspiration walking around that shop, I just love it. I know it's a little bit of a love it or hate it kind of shop and I don't think everyone likes it because some of the styles are a bit out there and a bit quirky but I just could spend hours in there. And looking at all the different fabrics and things that outfits and clothing is sewn from, I really find that interesting as well. Because sometimes if a dress or something is really expensive, I like to look at the fabric and see maybe why it is so pricey. <laughs> So yeah, that was really interesting as well, so I just thought I would share that. So that brings me yet to the end of my second week of Me Made May. I'm really impressed actually that I've managed to keep up with two weeks so far and I've managed to keep up with taking a photograph or filming a little clip every day in some way. Um, and it is really making me think again about using my clothes and putting together different outfits and things. If the sun was shining and if it was a bit warmer, I would be even more inspired to put different outfits together. But as I keep saying, as it is, it is still pretty chilly. So it's still a very jumper and jeans uh, heavy kind of wardrobe um, situation here in the UK. But nonetheless, it's been really nice to think about it. So thank you so much for joining me again this week. I'd love to know in the comments, actually, let me know what your favorite of my outfits that I've worn this week is. Just out of interest, I'd really like to know. Let me know as well how you're getting on with me, Made May, if you're taking part and let me know what you're up to, just generally. I always like to chat to you in the comments. So hopefully, again, I'll be back with another video next week sharing what I've been wearing in week three. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have enjoyed the video, I'd love it if you gave it a like. Take care, everyone, and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.